So in this video, I want to cover the uh, few reasons why your releasing might not work. And I want to kind of share it with a recent experience. You guys notice I have this right now. This is actually, um, as you can see here, I've got an armband on. So I'm doing a quick video this week because uh, I did crash my uh, skis in Switzerland doing a trick off a jump. Uh, messed up my arm. I got an AC separation here. Yeah, it's going to need surgery. It's at level five, if you guys know what that means. Uh, and I'm going to get surgery. Uh, tomorrow for it so i wanted to get a video in before i do uh tomorrow being friday and uh and uh covering um kind of the mindset of it all now an interesting thing happened and uh and before i do uh, i want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to like subscribe and share and to comment in the video so this video is going to be a little different i'm just going to film it with my cell phone when you get done really fast Negative mindset, why you're releasing might not be working, why you might go into a downward spiral. Now, when I first did this, I actually was in a really good mood. I was having a great time and I stayed in a good mood. And then as I started to realize that it was more serious than I thought it was, I was probably going to need surgery. There was a downward spiral that started. And the first thing I did was reach out to some people that I know that could help me with that process of getting out of there because I knew it was just a mindset thing. And I knew I needed to get rid of the negative thoughts. So I immediately started releasing on the negative thoughts that were coming up, all the heavier thoughts and the darker thoughts. And I got some people to help me out with that. And where I went to, if you look at the scale here, and the reason I got it in the background is I went into wanting, wanting it to be different. Uh, I had a lot of regret, but there's a lot of wanting to release a lot of these emotions and uh, get this resolved. And, um, and so when I started talking to other people and I started really looking at my life, my life is amazing. I'm an amazing life. This problem's gonna get fixed. It's gonna go away. And I did what I believe is probably one of the best tricks to use when you're not releasing well. You see, the key to releasing an emotionally, well, it could be dating, could be meeting women, but when you're stuck and you're frustrated and you can't grow anymore, you're oftentimes in the wanting energy here. I'm gonna use this arm, even though it probably shouldn't be, lusting, wanting, chasing. Or you're in the force and you're bouncing around here a lot trying to get results. You're trying to force the results, trying to get the results, and you're mostly using your head. You're forcing that energy. Then there's um, apathy, grief, and fear going that comes up when you when you don't get your results, when you get frustrated enough and you finally give up and you're like, screw this, you go down into apathy, grief, and fear, and the thoughts get darker. Then eventually you get back into the pushing, which happens up here. The real power is always up here. It's encourage acceptance, love, and peace. When you can get up and encourage acceptance, love, and peace, then your heart starts to open. You start to create like what we call a resonance. You start to feel out around you. And you don't want to just do that with your, you know, you hear me talk about embodiment a lot. You don't want to just do that with, uh, with one area. You want to feel your heart open and feel the space around you. That's why I talk about the vulnerability walks a lot and the heart walks. Then you want to be able to also do it with your head. You're, in a sense, your mind relaxes and your mind opens, your heart opens, and there's a synchronicity between the mind and the heart that creates this nice resonance or feeling. That's when releasing works really well. And some of the things you can do that will help you with the releasing when you're stuck, when you're in those lower energies is number one is meditation, really deep meditations. You know, my full body scan, I recommend it all the time. Uh, that can help you to get back down to feeling your body, feeling the heart. That's what I do. I teach you to feel the heart, open it up, feel the space around you. I teach you to feel from the head, feel the space around you, I teach you to feel from the gut, feel the space around you and synchronize those and get really deep in there. What we want to do is get you into an alpha or a theta state brainwave to get you out of that beta or, or even higher gamma wave uh, states where your mind is racing and really active. If you get into those states and you recognize it, stop. Learn to meditate. Learn to slow your mind down. Get good at meditation so that you can get out of those states when you get there. And then when you're back in meditation, you want to be, you want to be in a thinking level of meditation. That's why alpha is preferable unless you can think in theta. Some rare, some rare people can. Then you want to slow down and get into the... the um, you get in that alpha state and you want to start, that's where you begin the releasing again. And there's no releasing if you're not in courage. Courage is what allows for a release, the courage to look at an emotion, the courage to feel an emotion. When you think that women don't like you and you have a million negative thoughts about yourself, the courage to look at each one of those negative thoughts and say, hey, I can handle this. I can, I believe in myself. I can do this. The courage to look at the self-doubt with an open heart, with the resonance right here, the head and the, the mind connected and really feel that will create a huge shift in you. And that's what meditation helps to create. When you really hit those meditative states, you're creating this resonance, your heart's opening, you're feeling the space around you, head's opening, and ultimately the gut's opening. And I got a whole 
teaching I want to do on that. Um, and you're becoming one more one with your body and then the, the body with the environment. And that's where magic starts to happen. All those deep stored emotions can be released with the releasing process and the revealing process. And, and then new stuff gets revealed to you from that process. So when you're stuck, stop and meditate. Do my full body scan, or if you've got access to it, I have a countdown I do from 100 to zero to drop you deep into your body. That's a powerful release. Um, uh, what I can do is uh, if you guys have access to that, let me know. I don't think I, I don't know if I've put it online or not, but if I have and I got to get this surgery tomorrow, I can I can do a copy of that for you guys. I can do a video of that next week or the week after where we do that countdown from 100 to zero. And in the meantime, uh, check out the full body scan if you haven't go back to it or one of my other meditations that helps you to stop thinking so much to help you to relax. That's what the full body scan is designed to do. Uh, so we'll put a link to that in this video. So that's number one, get out of wanting, get into courage uh, and courage. I want to talk about what courage is for a moment, just really quick. And this is part number two on this. Courage is really the emotion of adventure. It's the emotion of I get to, I can't wait to do this. This is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I get to talk to that woman. It's scary. That's why I'm using courage, but I get to do it. So there's fear, but you're primarily encouraged looking at the fear saying I can handle my fear. And um, wanting is I hate my fear. I hate what I'm feeling. I'm wanting to get out of it. Feel that difference. I'm wanting to get out of it. I see that beautiful woman. I want to go talk to her, but, and I really want to talk to her, but I don't, but you're listening more to all the negative self-talk and you're wanting a change. Okay. And then anger is fuck that. I'm going to go do it anyways. And there's no emotional vulnerability or availability in that process. So for me with the arm, as soon as I start to go down into wanting or anger or hurt or your doubt, apathy, or fear, I immediately dropped into deep meditative states and cleaned up my emotional state. And I've been really good. Matter of fact, the healing on this is kind of crazy. The doctors are actually <laughs> shocked at how much I've been, at how much I can move the arm. I should, you know, so having a grade five AC separation, I shouldn't be able to do all this. You know, it's, it's what, six days out, seven days out. And, um, and uh, I could probably get full use of it back without surgery. I'd have this dropped shoulder and uh, there might be other problems. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but uh, this is the best time to get it done. So I'm going to get it done, get it raised back up. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to meditate every day in these deep meditative states where I release at a deep meditative state. I release and uh, and start working on healing it as fast as humanly possible, getting to the point where well, I'm back. I'm back at it, man. And uh, I'm supposed to wear a brace for five weeks. We'll see if I wear how long I wear it for and then go into um, uh, physical therapy. And I just plan to keep cleaning up my thoughts and expecting the best, seeing the best, con controlling that mind. And that's when your life becomes magic. That's when amazing things happen. As a matter of fact, so many amazing things have happened because of this people, situations, things um, that uh, I'm already shocked. So, uh, so uh, uh with that said uh hopefully you got a lot of value out of this definitely check out the full body scan definitely uh learn to meditate if you haven't already the 100 to zero meditation uh i'll get you a copy of that in a week or two if i if you can if there's not one already online and, and uh, i don't know I, I think i did one but i don't remember what it is so i'll definitely get you the full body scan and we'll put a link in here to that um so with that said, this is a short video. It's not meant to be one of my more professional videos. Uh, not, not that I do super professional videos. And uh, it's just meant to be quick to get you something uh, to think about this week. Um, so with that said, remember only the courageous really live. Definitely check out uh, truecourage.io. That is the new website. It's, it's being developed out too. And the whole new business uh, is being developed out. It's going to be all about this courage energy and really redeveloping your life from a place of passion and going after your dreams. Um, and, uh, hopefully not hurting yourself in the process. <laughs> doesn't matter. Either way, you're going to have a good time. Um, part of bumps and bruises are part of the process. Remember only the courageous really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.